Ah, zombies. We love them. Hollywood love them. Scientists love them. Over the years, there were numerous articles regarding the possibilities of zombies, many of which are supported by scientific research and theories. In this video, I explain the US military's contingency plan 8888. The United States government has many contingency plans for different scenarios, ranging from a nuclear war, an invasion of US mainland, large-scale disasters, to a zombie apocalypse. The US Strategic Command's Comp Plan 8888 is also known as Counter Zombie Dominance. Disclaimer This plan was not actually designed as a joke. The purpose of this comp plan is to establish and maintain a vigilant defensive condition aimed at protecting humankind from zombies. If necessary, conduct operations that will, if directed, eradicate zombie threats to human safety. And lastly, aid civil authorities in maintaining law and order and restoring basic services during and after a zombie attack. This document describes various types of zombie threats. Pathogenic zombies PZ, are zombie life forms created after an organism is infected by a virus or bacteria or other form of contagion. Radiation zombies RZ, are zombie life forms created after an organism is infected by an extreme dosage of electromagnetic and or particle radiation. Evil magic zombies EMZ, are zombie life forms created via some form of occult experimentation in what might otherwise be referred to as evil magic. Space Zombies SZ, are zombie life forms originating from space or created by toxic contamination of the Earth environment via some form of extraterrestrial toxin or radiation. Weaponized Zombies WZ, are zombie life forms deliberately created via bio or biomechanical engineering for the purpose of being employed as weapons. Symbion-induced zombies SIZ, are zombie life forms originating from the introduction of a symbion life form into an otherwise healthy host. Vegetarian zombies VZ, are zombie life forms originating from any cause but pose no direct threat to humans because they only eat plant life. VZ can cause massive deforestation or elimination of basic food crops essential to humans. Chicken zombies CZ, may sound ridiculous. This is actually the only proven class of zombie that actually exists. The first documented case occurred in 2006. CZs are actually hens that no longer lay eggs. As such, were euthanized by farmers using carbon monoxide. Although the hands are dead and buried, they were able to come back to life again, but only for a period of time before internal organ failure. Con Plan 8888 has six operational phases comprising defensive and offensive operations. Phase 0 refers to monitoring changes in disease vectors that could cause zombieism and regular CBRN training to ensure readiness and competency. In Phase 1, it is mentioned that zombies cannot be deterred. Hence, this phase mainly refers to deterring potential adversary nations and terrorists or criminal groups from creating pathogens via unethical bioresearch that could cause zombieism. This is also done by conducting large-scale CBRN exercises. Phase 0 and Phase 1 are considered day-to-day -day operations conducted on a regular basis. In Phase 2, military personnel are activated. Fortifications are built and the military will assist civil authorities with the evacuation of civilians. 
if necessary, the military will conduct limited scale offensive operations. In phase 3, the military will initiate large scale offensive operations, including the use of bomber and missile strikes. In phase 4, recon teams will be deployed to ascertain the safety of the environment for human habitation and the military continues targeting remaining zombie resistance. In the final phase, the military will assist civil authorities in restoring basic services in zombie-related disaster areas. There are several assumptions listed in this document, such as the US and allies will have the situational awareness necessary to conduct all counter-zombie dominance operations in this plan. Zombie forces will become stronger with each human casualty. There is no known medical cure for zombie pathogen. Concentrating firepower to the head is effective. The only way to ensure a zombie is dead is to burn the corpse. Zombies feel no pain and riot control measures would be ineffective. The document also outlines operational limitations comprising constraints and restraints as well as a list of shortfalls and limiting factors. Such as not having enough contingency stores or airborne assets needing support bases to review. These spaces could be overrun by zombies. Given this document is 31 pages long, and I don't wish to bore you with a 30 minutes long video, I'll just end the video here. If you enjoyed this video, do consider supporting my channel. Oh my god. Look at this fucking clown. Oh, of course. It had to be a clown. Fuck. No, it had to be a clown.